Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome to Tigers Altcoin News. Today I'll be talking about Smartlands.io and how I think they are infringing their trademark. And if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm totally right here. Um, Smartlands came out as an ICO, uh, I think about a month, month and a half ago, something like that. Um, this is their logo. Evergreen coin that has been around for a couple years now. This is their logo. Now, it was, it started becoming an issue when people were saying things about Evergreen coin thinking they were smart rants. So, and obviously I, dude, this looks like an exact copy except for a couple little minor changes and then you know change change the white the green and the green and white and you know flip the colors I mean come on man so um, the developer of evergreen coin tried to contact the guy told him he was infringing uh, asked him to change his logo um, he said he paid for it and he wasn't going to change it um, the evergreen coin then uh, sent a cease and desist which then he just got blocked um i tried to make contact uh, i've posted in there um and and there was really like you know it was like nobody cared but you know they don't care that they're causing problems for another community like uh, these guys have been working hard for the last two years they don't need you know FUD or whatever coming from whatever y'all are doing. You know, on top of that, um, you're representing another company that I like, Stellar. So, I mean, like, you need to get with the program and just, you know, I'm not even going to get into the other accusations that's been brought against them because I don't know if they're true or not yet. I haven't looked into it, but, I mean, certain th documents that's been shown to me, it kind of looks like you got some more trouble coming for you. So, I mean, but not only that, oh, and, and if y'all don't think this is, you know, the same, let, let's just look at it a little bit more. Watch this. Bam. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, man. You're going to tell me you can look at this. And you're going to look at that, and you're not going to think it's the same thing. So if these guys get in any kind of trouble, it's all going to pile back on these guys in the future. Uh, when it happens, whenever they see this, a lot of people are going to think of this. And that's wrong. Uh, they shouldn't have to be put at risk like that. Now, I don't understand how hard it is to change a logo. I mean... I understand you paid for it, but it's wrong. And then this logo is <laughs> trademark, you know, since 2016. It's been trademarked. That logo is trademarked. And not only is it trademark, it's internationally trademarked. INTC Class 9, International Class 9. So, yeah, they can uh, go out of the United States to come get you if they really wanted to but they shouldn't have to you know you should the, the developer whoever's on that team if the, he really has a team because that's one of the accusations is that the pictures were stolen so I don't know how true that is but this is what I'm upset about because Evergreen Coin is a good community Evergreen Coin has done a lot of good and they've been through a lot and they're still standing and they're still pumping hard and they guy might have to deal with stuff from you too i don't think that's right and i think it's infringement and i think whenever he recognized that it was infringement and decided to block the developer and not do anything about it i think it became a theft of intellectual property because now you know you're wrong. And I mean, you can look at 
if I was a developer and I seen this, you know how quick I change my logo. Because I don't want the extra mess. I don't want to put my uh, investors into hard spots. I don't want my investors to have to, you know, stress about uh, drama or whatever. I would change it quick. And, I mean, it's not that hard to make a logo. I'll make a logo for you if you want. Honestly, hey, here's the deal here. I'll make you a logo. I'll make you a logo for free. And it'll look better than that. If you would change that logo, like honestly, like truly, I would. I would sit here and I would take a whole day off to work on a logo for you. If you would change, that's how much I care about Evergreen Toy. That's how much I care about Stellar. Because I don't want this to turn into a big mess that it doesn't need to be. You know? Once, bit, once messes get big, it's hard to clean up. So, I mean, let's just clean it up now and get it over with. And here goes more evidence. Key features. <laughs> three lines of the trunk. Three main branches. Left branch. Central branch. Right branch. Then we're going to scroll on down and we're going to overlap the two. Look at that. Look at that. It's a good thing you didn't co uh, copy the letter in because... <laughs> That's trademark too. I have to get permission to use that myself. So, <laughs> but that right there, and that right there, no, mm -mm. no, sir. If I'm wrong, say I'm wrong. But I think this is infringement. I think this is theft. Um, if anybody asks me about Smartlands as much as I love Stellar, I would tell them not to buy this coin. Honestly. We gotta go through that much for this, you know. No, no. So let me stop uh, griping. I'm gonna try to get this to wherever I can. Yeah, I'm small. I know that. I, I don't care about being big, you know. But somebody's gonna see this video and they're gonna look at the evidence and they're gonna throw you not under a bus but under 10, 15 buses. You know, and I hope some of the uh, YouTubers that I really like and love uh, see this. You know, um, price today for Bitcoin is 7290 So, remember this gap I was talking about a couple days ago? Look how it said, didn't I tell you it has to fill it? I has to fill it, so I had to get back down there, but it kept going. And it looks like it's it's cut bottom right there. I think there was a resistance around 5,000, but I think there might have been some kind of resistance there too, which is good. Now we're kind of looking, we're looking a little lovely now. Starting to trail back up. And I've just been chilling. I mean... I've been in this three years. I've seen this happen so many times that I wasn't really worried. So, you know, let's look at other coins. Let's see. Let's look at Stellar because I like Stellar. I think they're awesome. And looks like we're 4,700 in Stellar. Looking very good. Looking very good. And this is one I think I was talking about not too long ago. Because look at this. It's like right in a range. I mean, let me, let me put some lines out there and show you. And then we go. Let's go. Yeah, about right there. This whole time, all this Bitcoin dip and everything else, this coin has been right in this range. So, like, and I can just see it. It's, it's, it's going to come. Sooner or later, it's going to come. It's going to break out through this top line. I mean, there's a couple tails down there, that, but I don't think they're a big worry so and stellar is a good coin 
Now let's look at EGC. Mm, let's go with Bitrix. So here's EGC. And they also have been looking pretty good throughout the. Let's go to daily. And zoom back out. Recovery. Okay. And then we're going to see pretty much like the same thing. Like, yeah, it's kind of moved October, November. December. So from December till now, this is what Evergreen Coins got. So it's not really fell off any during the, you know, Bitcoin drop. I mean, what the lows are right here. Hasn't even came close to touching it. <laughs> Sounds to me like a good pickup spot, honestly. Let's look at all these wicks. Look at all these wicks. Wow, that's a lot of wicks. And I'd love to come back and touch them. But <clears throat> that's all I have for today. And just like I said, if you think I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. I'll, I'll take it. Show me some evidence to prove that I'm wrong about this. But I think I'm totally right about this. I think Smartlands needs to change their logo. Um, until next time, keep the malt coins rolling.